Calling all cyclists, you're invited to join the American Heart Association at an annual event empowering you to, and to cycle towards funding an end mm. to stroke and heart disease and to tell us about the work of the American Heart Association and an upcoming event. We've got Abby here. Thanks for being here, hey, Abby. Abby. Of course. Yeah, great to see you. Yeah. Yes. Remind us about the great work that the American Heart Association mm. is doing. Well, of course, they're doing always great work, but um, specifically right now for Cycle Nation, we are empowering the health of others, even yourselves if you are participating in the event, to help end stroke and heart disease. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Can you give us some history on the event? So it actually started in 2019, especially up here in Northwest Arkansas, the best part of Arkansas. <laughs> it is also happening in Central Arkansas, but we love it up up here the first ever time that it's at Thaden Field. It is Thursday, October 26th at 5 p.m. and there of course is going to be a little party afterwards. Yeah, yeah absolutely. When I went in 2019, Sasquatch was there. Ooh. Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrity. I think, was, I think that was 2019. Um, but that was a good time. And uh -huh. he was cycling. Yeah, of course. Okay. He yeah. was out there as well. So he, he did a good job. Good job, Sasquatch. <laughs> 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 what do we need to know for this year's event, Abby? Anything new? Um, nothing really so new except the location, of course, sure. at Thaden Field. But of course, you're going to go see Jason for the third year MC. Yes, so yes. not so new, but a friendly face. Yeah, it's okay, going to be nice. great. Yeah. One of the things I think to keep in mind, too, is you see a title like Cycle Nation, you mm -hmm. might think biking and on the trails. True. But these are actually stationary bikes. Okay. Can True. you fill us in on how that event works? Well, you know, I'm not too sure. I'm not too much of a cycler over here, <laughs> but um, I'm trying. Um, but no, of course, it really fits everyone's needs because I'm, of course, too not so outdoorsy myself. I don't mountain bike. I don't do things like that. <laughs> so a stationary bike is much more my type of speed. So Same. I'm excited about that. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's a great one. Yeah, and, and the instructors kind of lead you through mm -hmm. um, a workout. Yep. As you yes, go it's a lot easier them. than you just doing it yourself. And Absolutely. Just, you know. Especially when you've got someone up in front of you who kind of encourage yeah, you, pumping you up, sure. keeping you going we the need whole that. time long. Yeah, absolutely. Of course. Abby, you're the Youth Advocate of the Year for the American Heart Association. How did you get recognized with that honor? So really, it really started when my grandfather passed away whenever I was 16 from heart disease. And so I just made it my mission to share his story and say his name whenever I could. So I just said yes to every possible American Heart Association event I could. Um, and then in 2019, I became the first ever Arkansan to become the Youth Advocate of the Year. Yeah. Traveled the nation since then, been to scientific sessions in Philadelphia, gone to the Capitol, passed some bills. So we've just done all the things. And it's just been the most amazing wow. opportunity. I love how you say that, just casually pass some bills. Oh, you know the deal. No big deal. Yeah. Just spreading the good word <laughs> and the mission of America. American Heart Association. Yeah. Abby, what would you say to other youth <laughs> out there um, about just getting involved with American Heart Association? Mm -hmm. I think everyone, especially everyone's family, thinks that it can't happen to them, and even me at a young age. Um, I actually also have a heart problem. I found that out whenever I was 19, and so it really can happen to anyone at any age. There are so many steps that we can take to just make sure that we are being healthy, eating healthy, being active. This is a great event to show that as well, and then really just fundraise and volunteer. There are so many ways you can do that on the American Heart Association website. Even reach out to me. I have a vlog um, straight out of Arkansas that reaches all 50 states where I just get to interview amazing advocates. So I'm really excited about it. That okay. is amazing. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So people can sign up now and register yes, for Cycle Nation. It is a fundraising event. Is there it a is. minimum that people need to, that you're encouraging people, I should say, rather, um, to raise? So it is $250 per rider okay. or then $2,500 per team. So it's about four to six people on a team. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, Do you okay. still need volunteers for this event, maybe for upcoming events as well? Can of course, for upcoming events. There's so many events coming up. We actually just had Heart Walk, which had an amazing out, um, right. turnout, and so we're really excited about that. But then, of course, there's so many more things coming up. Even the Sweetheart Program is a really big event that we have here up in NWA for sophomore girls in high school. But the Heart Ball is coming up. There's always volunteers needed for that. Absolutely. That's yeah. great. Abby, thank you so yeah, much for so joining much. us, thank filling you. us in. It's going to be a great event for sure. You see yeah. the details one more time right there on your screen. It's happening Thursday afternoon, evening, before it gets too late. Five o'clock uh, is the ride time there.